Hey guys, it's Lee from Meridian Hydrographics again. I just want to touch base uh, with some of you guys, some questions on the form and whatnot. And I just want to show you the mixing cups that we use here for our clear coat and strainers and some of our paint guns that we have here. Uh, this mixing cup here, it's a pint size. Uh, it's good for smaller parts and whatnot. You don't have to mix a lot of clear. Uh, you know, you can mix a little as, or a lot that you want. Um, the ratio on the side, I mean, it's got the it's got the four to one if you want to go ahead and make a full you know, half pint of clear. Or it's got these little measurements on the side here. Or you can go ahead and say if you want to do a two to a half or something like that, you can mix a little bit of clear. Um, next uh, size up would be this one right here. You know, you mix a little bit more. And then you can go up to these quart sizes, uh, mix a lot more. And I do have a gallon one here, but I usually use that for holding up parts. Uh, here is the strainers that we use here, just simple strainers, any paint store will carry them. Uh, basically, you know, when you go ahead and mix up your paint and whatnot, you want to throw it on your paint gun before you pour it in there. It kind of helps strain, get all those little particles out, especially if you're mixing matte. Very good for if you're making, mixing a matte clearance, sometimes it gets little um, white particles in there. Uh, let's talk about some of the paint guns that we have here. Uh, we have a vapor, that's what I use here. We have, you know, dedicated clear gun. Um, nothing else goes in there except clear. Then we have a dedicated water-based color gun. Uh, you know, nothing but water-based colors go in there. Uh, we have a dedicated primer gun. All the primers that we use here are a PPG. Um, either going to be uh, probably you know 2K urethane is what we pretty much use. Uh, we have another gun here for solvent base uh, base coats on there. And then I have a little guy here for like auto wear stuff like that. Things are a little bit thinner. Um, best thing to do, you know, is to have your separate guns so you're not putting, you know, colors in your clear because if you don't get it all the way cleaned out, you go to shoot clear, next thing you know you're spitting and sputtering red or black paint out of there. So other than that, I'll sign off and uh, see you guys on the forum.